I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Small Rig is killing it right now. They have so many cool products coming out from tripods to lights to card cases. I mean, everything they've been making has just been a hit. So basically I was on B&H and I was just looking for like a new SD card holder because that's definitely a staple item in every photographer's bag. You need one of those to keep all your SD cards like in place because all of mine were just all over the place. So I ended up pulling the trigger on this small rig one. I had no idea that they even made cases. It was a new product, it was a good price, and I know the quality of small rig is always high. I have a bunch of their stuff, and uh, at the same time, I actually decided to order that new light that they released, the RC60. So that's on the way as well, but for today's video, I'm going to focus on this SD card holder, which is really sick. Alright, so here we have the small rig 3192 memory card case. Small rig has been doing a great job with their packaging. It uh, looks like it's eco-friendly which is always good and a uh, very simple, cool little design on the front there. So let's open this thing up. It slides out nicely like that. They definitely did not cheap out on this packaging. It looks very nice. So it looks like the holder comes in this nice bubble wrap packaging. Oh yeah, that feels good. So I'm gonna move this off to the side and we're gonna take a look at this small rig memory card case. So I know a lot of you guys have one of these. This is a Samsung SSD. Uh, just for size reference, this is basically how big the case is. I know you can measure out four by three inches, but sometimes it's nice to see a comparison to something else. So it's uh, very nice and compact. So according to Small Rig, this case has like an anti-shock design and I guess they've dropped it from six feet and it's uh, it's kept everything safe, nothing broke according to them. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave that for you guys to test. That would be pretty cool if I did, but I don't know. <laughs> I kind of like uh, how new it looks right now. But anyways, uh, it's sealed with like silicon linings to keep water and dust out but they say that it's not waterproof. So just keep that in mind, don't be throwing this in a lake. Um, the case itself is made of polycarbonate and silicon and has like an anti-slip texture, um, which makes it really soft. It's got like a, it's got like a matte sort of feel to it. It's not slippery, like you can get some good grip on it. The way this thing opens up is it has like this uh, snap fastener. So I'll show you guys that right here. Yeah, so that snaps in very nicely, very strong. So this is what we have on the inside. We have six spots for SDs, six spots for micro SDs. We have CF Express Type A, Type B. I think if uh, you're not shooting with CF Express, you're pretty much covered. I mean, you got, you got ample room for cards here, which I'll show you how nicely they go in. But if you are shooting with a lot of CF Express cards. At least you have two for the A. I'm not sure uh, how many people are actually using B. The actual feel of the inside matches the, the outside. So it's, uh, it's nice and grippy. It's got like that sort of matte satin feel, very soft. And you can kind of see like the lining here. There is a ridge to kind of protect it from moisture and dirt. Yeah, I really like this case. Uh, it's got a nice looking design to it and it's, it's functional. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. All right, so I have various cards here. I have four SDs and three micro SDs. So I'm just gonna show you guys how these things go in. I like to put them sort of on one edge first and then press down like that uh, just to get a nice fit. So they, they fit very nicely. It's a perfect fit. And then we got some micro SDs. These seem to be a little bit tighter fit. I feel personally that like the micro SDs are exactly that, a tighter fit. So they seem more secure, but look, it all depends on like how you put it in. So you just kind of got to like find the right way to, to get it secure and then it, it stays in. One thing to note is I guess depending on the design of the SD card, um, some fits more snug than others. I, I don't know why. Like this one, for example, likes to pop out, um, but these don't. So it's like, this is really old actually. I don't know, I don't even know when I got this or where I got this, but one thing I tested was how do they fit or do they fit any better sort of like with the chip facing out? And they actually do. So it's a little bit tighter. 
And I figured like, you know, this might be a little inconvenient, but you could easily just take like a white Sharpie and just write, you know, how many gigabytes are on that card. But like I said, um, these definitely hold them in place. I think this is a, a really good buy if you ask me. Like, I have no plans to return this and I think it's enough space for me. Um, I have like another one or two SD cards, so I'm all covered. I don't use any CF Express cards. So I really like the way that this thing uh, was designed. This is kind of interesting. So when I buy something, I usually go to the reviews afterwards and I look at them and see if they're actually like legit. Like are what these people saying, you know, real or are they just like nagging and just being nitpicky? Since this product is really new, there's only three reviews on B&H. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at them and see how accurate they are. So the first review from Karen says, it's a little heavier than I need, but I know my SD cards are well protected. Um, I don't really know if this is considered heavy. It only comes in at 120 grams. So that's like the same weight as the Samyang 24 millimeter F2.8, which is extremely light. I don't even feel it on the camera. So I don't know why this would be considered a little heavy. I think it's it's a solid build, but she does say, you know, solid build in the uh, uh, in the review. So uh, yeah, SD cards are well protected. I would agree. Anthony, a verified buyer. I still don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, my cards are safe and secure with this case. I wasn't even aware that small ring made memory card cases, same. And I searched for a card case that would hold my Sony CF Express cards and this case popped up. I can't believe how well this case is made and it also holds SD cards, great purchase. Yeah, that's that's 10 for 10. I think he's uh, he's right about all of it. Like you wouldn't think that Small Rig entered the SD card holder uh, market, but yeah, they are. So David, a verified buyer, I forgot to mention that Karen was also a verified buyer, but he says, solid, way stronger and rigid than I expected. My SD cards are snug in their little compartments. This case is tougher than my phone's OtterBox. I don't have an OtterBox to test that, but I will say this thing is built like a tank. Like, I don't see this thing breaking. Everything is beautifully constructed. Yes, David, I would agree with you as well. So I would say if you guys are in the market for an SD card holder, or if you just need to refresh the one that you got, maybe skip on the Pelican case and get something a little bit cheaper. So at the time, this measures in at $17. It's a good bang for your buck. I mean, I think for $17, this is built very well. The holidays are also coming, and if you wanna gift yourself something, or if you know a photographer that you're looking to get a small gift for, I think they would be pretty happy with this. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Junet. I am a photographer based out of California. Check out my website so you can see my work. I have merch, I have hats, I have presets, I have prints. We got everything, so take a look. Appreciate the support and I will see you guys in the next video.